Welcome to today's video. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to wash and care for your brushes. Um, now, I did do this video a couple of years ago and not a lot has really changed, actually. I still kind of care for my brushes the same way, but I had a lot of you guys email me who ordered BK Beauty brush sets and you're like, how do I take care of these brushes? Will you show us how you wash and, and care for them? So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I did film actually how I wash my brushes and lay them flat to dry, so we're gonna hop on over to that and I'm just gonna kind of voice over instruction. Before we do that really quickly, I wanna to talk to you quickly about the two cleaners that I have and which I prefer over the other. So I have the Beauty Blender Solid Cleanser and then I have the Sigma Brush Cleansing Foam. In the video, I show you how I use both, so whether you prefer one over the other. I personally prefer the solid cleansers over um, cleansers like this. Um, I just find it a little bit easier. One, I find the pump on this a little difficult to kind of um, get the product out. But two, I just find this to be a little bit easier. And I think too, it, it kind of suds up and cleanses the brushes a little bit better. Uh, they both rinse out pretty quickly, which is important to me. Back in the day, I used to use like shampoo on my brushes, which you certainly can do. Um, the only thing is, is that it, it's very hard to wash out. It takes a long time to wash out all that those suds from the brushes, and so it just takes so much longer to clean your brushes. I find the Beauty Blender Solid to be um, excellent. It cleanses the brushes really well, and again, it rinses out pretty quickly, so you can get through washing them quickly. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop on downstairs to my bathroom where I'm going to show you guys how I clean them and dry them, and I'm just gonna kind of voice over instructions, and then we'll be right back. So I like to get my water lukewarm. I don't want it to be too warm, definitely not hot, but I don't like it cold either. Now I'm gonna show you first how I clean with the Beauty Blender Solid Cleanser. This is my favorite product to use to clean brushes. There are some other brands that have a similar product. Sigma, I believe, has one and it has a little insert that's supposed to scrub your brushes. I don't recommend that. It's a little too abrasive for the brush hairs and also it is not friendly to beauty blenders. So first you wanna grab maybe two brushes at a time and grab brushes that are similar in shape. So these are my two crease brushes. And you submerge the bristles in water so they're soaking wet. Gently rub them on your fingertips or your palm or your hand to really work and, and lather that up. Rinse them out and gently squeeze out the excess water, kind of reshape the tip of the brush and then lay it flat to dry. I'm gonna grab two more brushes that are similar in shape. These are the eyeshader brushes. You don't really wanna grab more than a couple, definitely not more than about four, um, just so that you can get a really good clean on all of them. You don't wanna put too much pressure when you're running it across that solid balm and you don't wanna put too much pressure when you're um, washing it on your hand. Also, just submerge the brush hairs in water. Try not to submerge the entire brush. Uh, you don't wanna submerge the handle any more than you need to and especially where the ferrule and the handle meet, just try and keep the bristles uh, what you you soak in water. Now I'm gonna show you guys this brush cleaner as an option. This is the Sigma brush cleaner. I'm not a huge fan of this product. Um, the pump is a little difficult to manage, but regardless of if it's this or another product like this, I wanted to show you guys in case you do prefer a cleaner like this, you wanna pump it in the palm of your hand. For the large powder brushes like this, I grab one at a time because there's so much fiber to work through. You don't wanna have more than that. Um, and again, just submerge the, the hair if you can underwater. Definitely squeeze all the excess water, otherwise they will take forever to dry and reshape, especially brushes that have more of a tapered tip. You wanna make sure that you reshape that tip so when they dry, they just they, they stay true to form. So this is our bronzer brush, and if you notice, I'm using the palm of my hand now. For the larger brushes, the palm of your hand offers a little bit more surface, so I like to do uh, that for the larger brushes. So again, just I can't stress enough how important it is to just focus on submerging the tip of that brush. Now this is our large powder. So this is the longest fibers and it's the fluffier of the brushes. And I'm going back to the solid to show you. I really like this product so much. You'll notice you can start to see the makeup come out. It does such a great job of removing makeup. And you can see that I'm just kind of using my fingers. I'm not squeezing too hard. I'm not pulling on the fibers. I'm just kind of shampooing. Imagine like you shampoo your hair, kind of shampooing your brush and getting all of that product out of it. I'm holding it upside down just so that all the water kind of drips out, squeezing it and reshaping it, laying it flat on a nice absorbent towel. 
So this is our foundation brush, and I definitely want to speak a little bit about this because it does have such an interesting shape. When you use this brush, you can flatten out the tip pretty easily because especially if you kind of stipple it on the face, you can find that those long hairs might seem to flatten out a little bit, which is no problem. When you wash it, you just want to make sure that you reshape it. So I'm really working the product into this brush because it does have foundation and cream products, so it's going to need a good, good cleanse. And you can see that I spend my time really kind of working that product out under the water, squeezing the excess water out. But here is definitely where you want to shape this brush because it does have that really unique shape. Then I lay it flat on a towel with the long tip like that side flat. So now I've cleaned all my brushes. You can see this is what they look like. It takes about 12 to 24 hours to dry. The longer or the larger powder brushes will take about 24 hours to fully dry. When they are all, all dry, then you can take a towel to, um, I just do this step, it's not necessary, but I like to do this so I don't have any like water stains or soap stains or fingerprints on my super high glossy beautiful brushes. So this is just a, t a dry towel and I'm just running it down before I put it in my canister. You wanna make sure that they are completely dry before you do this you guys if the br bristles are still soaked you run the risk of that water kind of dripping down through the ferrule and you do not want that so you want to wait like I said until they're fully dry which could take a full day and there you have it nice beautiful clean brushes so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. There are a couple things I wanna elaborate on that I think are so, so important. I touched on them in the voiceover, but I wanna make sure I stress how important they are, especially with these brushes. Uh, so one, I don't submerge my entire brush in water, um, and that's with any brush, whether it's BK Beauty brushes, Sigma brushes, any brushes that you use, it's best if you can just submerge the uh, hair. Uh, just one, because there are components to the handle and ferrule that if you have a lot of hot water, it can damage the handle, it can loosen up any glue or adhesive that might be in the ferrule. So it's really important to just concentrate that water and soak the actual hair. Of course, you're gonna get water on it as you're washing it, but just try not to submerge the whole brush. Two, when you are um, washing it on the palm of your hand, have light pressure. You know, you definitely don't wanna go in there and press too hard because that can obviously damage the shape of the brush head. Three, you wanna make sure that you kind of gently squeeze all the excess water after you've washed your brush. You wanna gently um, squeeze that water out and kind of shape the head of the brush and then lay it flat to dry. Very, very, very important. I do not recommend laying them in your cup or standing them upright to dry because again, all that water from the uh, hair is just gonna kind of soak down that ferrule and you don't want that. So you wanna lay them flat until they're completely dry and then that usually takes a good 12 to 24 hours. Um, obviously, depending on how much hair is in the brush, the eye brushes are going to dry much quicker than say like a big powder brush. But once they're completely dry, then you can pick them up and put them in the canister or store them however you like. Another thing I wanna say about brushes that have a high gloss finish and a high shiny ferrule like the BK Beauty brushes, there are other brushes that are very similar in finish to this. You wanna make sure, um, and this isn't necessarily a must, it's not gonna damage your brush if you don't do this, but but because they have that high gloss uh, reflection, it is going to show fingerprints or soap suds more so than a brush that doesn't have that. So one thing you can do if that bothers you is just take a dry washcloth and just run it over your brush before you uh, lay it in your canister. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Leave me all your questions and comments in the comment section below. As always, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.